welcome everyone. Uh, I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to see so many formidable women in one room for the As Bold As Gold Roundtable. This is in collaboration with the World Gold Council. The idea is to celebrate women in entertainment, to celebrate your incredible creativity, to celebrate your self-expression. Um, I love everything that all of you do. And I want to begin with asking, what is the most recent achievement that made you all sort of pause? And I'm sure you're all the kind of women who don't pause for too long. Yeah. But for that one moment, you paused and said to yourself, well done, girl. Bhumi, let's start with you. Uh, for me, well, it's very, very recent. I had a film that went for the Toronto International Film Festival. It honestly was something that I, I wanted a film of mine to travel internationally and to have experienced the reception that the film got there uh, was something that made me, where I felt like, okay, you know, you somewhere wanted this and you've reached there and only bigger and better things are going to happen. And I am very, very self-critical and I don't often pat myself. But that was that one moment where I was like, okay, well done, girl. You know, you've shouldered this film, you've come this far, all is good. This is thank you for coming. This is thank you for coming, yes, yes. And Guneet, of course, has had multiple things to Absolutely. pat herself about. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yes. Um, I think I was really happy to get married to a really, really wonderful That's person. That's so <laughs> <laughs> uh, To uh, Sunny, a really, really wonderful person. Um, and then, of course, yes, the Oscar was beautiful this year. But today He's morning... He's very gold, I might add. Yeah. 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 Very gold. <laughs> um, 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 I keep telling my in-laws also, you know, so he's all gold. And uh, But today morning, I had that moment uh, of patting myself in the back. And it happened today morning. And everything that I reflect to, because I'm a producer and I make movies... Um, and then I think, um, I think my work, uh, like, like even Bhumi said, I think we come with a lot of self-critical, uh, attitude or imposter syndrome. I think my core of my work is where can I take this movie? Yeah. How far can I take this movie? And today morning magic happened. Um, it's in the process of unfolding, but, uh, our movie kill has opened up a whole lot of doors which uh, an Indian film has not done uh, ever, uh, which we will talk about and we will announce. But it, because we got our deals today morning and I was just like, wow, this is what I have been learning to do. This is what I've been meaning to do, to take a genre, to take our uh, technicians, our director, our actors, our brown skin, our footprint on a global scale. So yes, it premiered at Toronto. But uh, it also might open uh, some incredible distribution doors. Fantastic. And uh, I have always said that, you know, ideas are free. Uh, the magic lies in execution and the impact lies in distribution. So as a producer, all those three um, stages of a piece of content matter to me. And uh, so today morning I had that moment like, you know, uh, I'm proud of you. Yeah. How lovely. Yeah. Aditi, you? Um, I'm hard on myself. And I, I think uh, I don't always say well done girl to myself. Maybe I should learn. Um, but I realize it when somebody I value or respect says it to me. Mm. And then I think, oh, okay, well done. But it, it takes that. I don't know whether it comes from being, you know, in my head always that little girl or a student or, you know, constantly trying to be better uh, or I don't know where it comes from, but I know that's there in me and I, I'm, sometimes I say maybe I should change it, but I, I somewhere I think it, it's also me, you know, to, to, uh, to hear it from someone and then value whatever it is and think back on what it is that led me there and the fact that, yes, I got there and yes, it worked and that, that then that experiences teaches me something for the next time. And I think, so for me, it's more like a work in progress. And I think it was 
most recently i guess jubilee mm. um because uh, how lovely yeah. is she guys thank so nice. you so nice see there <laughs> you said it now it makes it feel good uh, because while i'm doing it i'm so involved in what it is that i'm doing that i'm not even i don't even realize that maybe this is uh, working or not working and i'm not i'm so interested in the journey that it's only when somebody says that journey was really good and it worked and it moved me or whatever that i'm like oh, thank you and i'm almost surprised quite often and then it gives me that feeling and jubilee really gave me that most recently yeah. i would say uh, i hope i get many more <laughs> no you will I'm and sure. i have heard it every year so i'm happy eka <laughs> <laughs> um for me i think i'm in a my profession is such where i i i need validation constantly from first my director then the actor then the audiences and my family so i feel that when i tick all the boxes of validation is when i feel okay i've done it you know and um i had that moment already twice this year and it felt great you know with kuni and selvin um yeah doing so well and with mani sir you know texting me the hour, the hour after the first screening um that your work really really stands out and thank you and i was like wow like that for me i just like i have taken a screenshot of that message that you know my phone shouldn't auto delete it or something <laughs> you know i've kept it and then when my family really loved the film and they liked my work and um i i felt that i had done something that mattered um also because it was a film which was about a culture that i am sort of alien to or far away from you know i'm from bombay and that had to do a lot with tamil and uh i put in a lot i learned a lot and uh, i was really scared that i'm going to get that remark that she didn't put the research in our culture and when i didn't get that i just felt really happy you know and then that followed with a completely different film like rocky rani mm. and you know that gave me the love which i wasn't expecting because it was kind of very different you know from the kind of work that i've been doing it was i'm i'm i never did something so glam and uh, i feel my family was so happy my father was so proud and that pride and that happiness in his eyes and you know of course working with someone like mani sir and then karan and the end of the year is going to be dunky with uh, raju sir so it's just for me i feel that this year i have told myself that i can do what i put my heart in and uh, i did it <laughs> and what a great year yeah it's yeah. been a good year yeah. what a good year man. Oh, yeah. amazing thank you. thank you so much <coughs> nandini what about you um uh, well it's i'm so relieved this year happened because with the pandemic this stuff we worked on before the pandemic took so long to come mm. out that it looked like we were not working casting yeah. people mm. and so that was very, so first we had bahar and then uh, made in heaven which uh, uh, came out pretty okay so, so that was nice yeah, yeah. It was so good um i also have a wonderful casting partner karan mali i have to give a shout out because i'm sitting here in gold yeah <laughs> and uh, and a team so um uh you know our work finishes before the shoot starts and uh, uh, you know we have pre production so we have to really wait to see what uh, comes out and we have a couple of releases this year as well so i'm really looking forward to uh, good clean fun archies and um uh superman or malegao which i think will happen next year which is also very uh, uh in uh, very different and uh, beautiful and poignant wow. and um Sam Bahadur, wow. which uh, wow. yeah, everyone in the army, all the pa- the entire Parsi community, and everyone else is waiting for. Yeah, <laughs> so are yeah. we. And, yeah, that's why I said everyone else as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And Vita, for you. <clears throat> Hey, every time I show up in the morning in front of the blank page, <laughs> that's a victory. Manage to write something. I'm like, arey abba, beta. Well done. I'm so kawal. If I don't do that, I'll never show up. So that for me is the biggest. And uh, I think more than anything else, I just completed my script. So it was when I wrote Fate to Black, I was like. Mm. Say better to go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're waiting for it. Yeah, that's so fabulous. So, yeah. so the the third feature. Yes. Hopefully soon. Yes. How lovely! How okay. lovely! Thank you. So you know, Guneet, for me, you exemplify the good hustle. Okay, I've known you for a long time. I've seen you going from festival to festival with micro budget mm. movies. 
trying to find that distribution and now here you are only oscar winning yeah. <laughs> which is so fantastic thank you can you talk to us about the art of the good hustle how do you do it where you are hustling uh without shafting people yeah. without compromising on quality and still getting what you want for me all of us we work in an industry in which we see dreams we then try and execute those dreams it takes a couple of years mm. before it's it comes to reality in its shape size you know it's a fragment of everyone's thought the writer the director the producer the actor their ambitions and their conversations and then it comes to life i think so you're every day dealing with fear you know ye acha nahi hoga wo aisa nahi hoga you're constantly so for me every day it is faith over fear i do it very consciously because we are hustling in fog you know we are running in fog yeah. you hope for it to land you know in every aspect um that's beautiful yeah hustling in fog yeah, yeah. 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 i like need that on a t-shirt yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, i thought i'll put that you know if i ever write a book i was like this is my life i'm hustling in fog you know yeah. i can sit in retrospective and break it down that mm. we were cool we knew lunchbox would be a global yeah, hit absolutely. or you know we were so um, like we knew the impact of basan and how it will happen or gangs of asipur will become a cult or you know peddlers will go to uh, can or mm. kill will open to uh, a great response globally or elephant whispers will win the oscar or period end of sentence will win the oscar we don't know we just show up with all our intent every day every morning and try and do our best so i think clarity uh, of what we want to achieve where we want to go uh, asking freely the questions um because there are people out there who have done it and there are people out there who are happy to help and happy to tell you mm. uh but it is about us asking reaching out uh again putting that faith over fear matlab zyada se zyada insaan mana hi kar dega na so i reach out to the best in the world you know not just best in the india and when you collaborate with people uh you set expectations right you set communication right uh if there are surprises talk about it you know and say maybe i didn't know this you know i don't know I I'm also doing this for the first time. So I think people appreciate honesty and it's the most under um uh valued virtue. You know, I think uh besides everything we study, we learn these interpersonal soft skills of honesty, of showing up, of you know, um have helped me when I was an intern, when I was an intern's intern uh <laughs> to say I don't know this. Aap ek bar bata do main kar lungi. You know, so uh rather than you know that clarity is mm-hmm. so important and in, and even when i meet younger people younger producers i'm just like pray for clarity mm-hmm. you know you need chahiye kya mm-hmm. you know pehle to wo clearly clearly ek line mein likh kar ho you know one line of what you need what you are trying to do where you are trying to take this and then you know universe shows you more ways and then one step after other you build from strength to strength and above all faith because we are all very scared you yeah. know and we are all very nervous and we are all always like you know sab doob jayega and we work in and i specifically uh, work in 100% equity so i'm the first one when any money goes down you know so i'm the first person in line of fire what were you thinking <laughs> you know so uh, so it comes really naturally to me to be very to be able to take that responsibility and to be able to see through that in my best possible capacity things that i don't know to flag them off early uh and uh, and to build a team to take everyone together to appreciate to freely appreciate and double down on your tribe so that's the only way you know how lovely thank you so many life lessons just in that answer yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ikka you of course <clears throat> already talked about these two films being diametrically opposed but what what i admire about you as a costume designer is the fact that you're very clear that when you are doing a film it's not about making stars look good yeah right yeah. it's about making the character come alive yeah. but so much of mainstream hindi cinema is about actors looking a certain way yeah. how do you negotiate this conversation between being authentic and still you know kind of 
doing the fan service because we are there also to look at just beautiful people yeah i've worked with beautiful people that helps but uh, you know besides that i feel it was just my film school has been uh, with manisha you know um, and manisha's uh, aesthetic is extremely real extremely raw and then there is beauty in the rawness be it in his location in his set in his uh, the way his actors look um, so i think that i learned that skill from him as much as i could in my first few films um and with that i i try seeing things like i for me picture perfect isn't beautiful for me a little flaw adds the beauty for me understanding the personality of the character not only relevant to the scene like you know i want to know what they eat i want to know what they what music they listen to i want to know what kind of dance do they like like i just want to know that because i feel i can punch that in somewhere in the film or in their wardrobe and it can just make them very real because nobody dresses up uh, for a particular scene every day of their life they just dress up with the mood or with what they like or you know what they have in their wardrobe and i try bringing that out um and it's always a risk when you're taking it to first thing is you have to convince the director which i believe i i like taking more inputs from the director so that's for me an easier task and then when we take it to an actor we're just hopeful that they are on the same page and you know they jump in with us and i've been lucky that it's happened most of the time um and that's how the character is born for me yeah yeah which is so critical if it is yeah. yeah and i also feel that when when something is raw and beautiful at the same time it's the audience is also love that more yeah. it's more respond relatable in a certain way, they yeah. respond in it's not ice cold beautiful it's not uh, drop dead gorgeous it's relatable yet aspirational yet i could do that um and i feel that audiences have always loved that more in characters yeah there's a mani sir heroine sitting right <laughs> next to you i actually want to uh, add to it you know as an actor and it's also something that we learn along the way and i did learn that on mani sir's set because um, you you understand that it's not about your own ego Mm-hmm. and your own sense of vanity because what i think is beautiful or what i think looks beautiful on me does not make that character neither does it make the character beautiful yeah it is really about just being that person and actually just sort of breathing life into the vision of what this human being like say say money sir like what he of course and we have seen all his films so we know he's he's like he'll know what yeah he's yeah. so like wonderful but even with a new director it's about trusting and surrendering to see that this person's idea of beauty or what a beautiful character is is valid and it is my duty as an actor to be with them through that journey and to not hold on to what is beautiful to me with my ego and my vanity so to just let go and live that story because there's so many different kinds of beauty yeah yeah and to allow everybody to just do their work and be a vehicle you know and then put yourself there in the way that you should rather yeah. than with your sense of self yeah but you know speaking of different kinds of beauty and bumi I'd like you to come in here um mm-hmm. uh, i i've often heard uh female actors also men but more often women say that uh, especially at the beginning of their careers they were rejected for looking a certain way you know uh, and that looking is usually that they didn't fit into uh, this very narrow construct of beauty right. yeah. that you know mainstream cinema peddles in right and it's always almost always to do with the color of your skin has this changed in your experience uh, do you <clears throat> see that we are interpreting beauty in a more elastic way i think so i feel like my career and my film choices and especially the ones that have worked uh kind of support the fact that things are changing but even today with all that i've achieved with whatever my films have stood for there's always this conversation ki heroine alag hoti hai you know there's a certain mold and we've still not broken that mold because you still want her to be a certain skin color you still want her to be a certain height you still want her to be a certain size yeah. and maybe like and very often we become a part of the rat race as well you know so you have to kind of step back and understand that okay is this what and it's okay doing it it's just about accepting what game you want to play 
you know you can be a part of that narrative and it's absolutely fine because you can't judge an actor's choices you know they are personal to you you build your career it's it it, it depends on you how long and what kind of longevity you want in your, within your career you want to do this for your playing a 40 year game or you're doing this you know for the next few years it all depends on your choices and it's okay but uh, the acceptance of diversity is still very very low it's a tough conversation 100% it's i mean look at the look at the kind of okay for example if a girl becomes fitter suddenly she is called beautiful and this actually happened with me during thank you for coming i've gone through this you know adjectives like oh my god bhumi people have appreciated me for my work but i've never been called beautiful within the film fraternity i think i'm gorgeous <laughs> you know so you. it doesn't matter <laughs> yes. and i've always yeah. kept it going well, yeah. but in my uh, reviews or like you know when people they've never like called me oh my god she looks gorgeous she looks beautiful people have but like you know the general public didn't ever view me with that lens mm -hmm. but then i've gone and i've done this film where i've where i've kind of tried to be in a traditional commercial film heroine mold and suddenly the conversation changed you know so so they so for us beauty is very limited it mm. is about how your hair looks mm. you know it is about what kind of makeup do you have on it is about what size of clothes you fit into there are very few that believe in um, beauty being more diverse mm. because for me everything is beautiful right like we all are so unique and that's why uh we get to do the parts that we get to do but the narrative has to be changed in a larger stronger yeah. way mm -hmm. and that can only happen when we have diverse films it is our filmmakers it is our writers it is our producers mm -hmm. you know the vision with which a filmmaker sees an actor and just not for women it's for yeah. men as well absolutely they yeah. have yeah. to yeah. be buff yeah. and they have to be muscular and they have to kind of reach that yeah. epitome of being macho they have a lot of pressure as well because if you're not that there are so many just not pleasant adjectives that are attached to you yeah. you know so the pressure is on both the sides mm. so just not like it's not a gender specific narrative yeah yeah mm. but nandi yeah. as a sort of leading casting director are you seeing more inclusivity uh yes and i think it's primarily because of the people i work with that's right. you know and while you were talking i yes. was just thinking it really depends on the directors absolutely you work with who, I mean, their idea of objective beauty and their understanding of uh, what works yeah um so again it all boils down to the scripts that we work on um, and the people we work with there is a certain level of inclusivity but you know what i don't understand inclusivity too well uh, at from a casting perspective because we don't really cast the stars uh, right. and so then it's real people yeah. and the rest of the the rest of the uh, script and the cast the, that inhabits the film are like realish people so in a way it is and it's inclusive. easier at that point to, to much easier yeah to put in yeah. people who actually fit the character yeah, yeah. and yeah. You, and, and there's always a wide range of good actors who one can go to for yeah. that so yeah. yes can i jump in like for example made in heaven it's such a well well cast yeah. show absolutely yeah. i feel like that show kind of has come the closest to cover the spectrum of diversity yeah. Yeah. yeah being as inclusive as possible and like you know giving every actor a fair share you know it's not you're not doing it to make a point you're doing it because it's right yeah, yeah. yeah. you know so i really so have to congratulate all, all our you directors on, on the show uh, and the producers you know yeah. uh, zoya reema alankrita Neeraj, Nitya, everyone. I mean, their vision was so good yes. that yeah. uh, uh, it all came together. Yeah. yeah. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> Aditi, do you find that you are battling stereotypes because they always want to cast you? Because you're beautiful. Um, I think yeah. Sometimes it can be claustrophobic also because it's pointed out to you many times. I don't like the self-awareness of it because I think it's unnecessary self-awareness and baggage these kinds of things. Uh and I don't like I personally I don't want it to be my only identity. Also because for some reason people think it's damn easy. Mm. And people tend to then not notice that what I really really truly love 
is the work that I do, mm. the fact that I am so like, okay, maybe earnest or so. I I just I. I'm so passionate about how I pick what it is that I pick, who I want to work with, how I am on set. I mean, yeah. Eko see me on set. I'm literally doing artwork yeah. and so sorting out somebody else's costume, and I enjoy that process. I'll be running around with like behind Manisha, like his little tail, sitting with the DOP. I love it, and I love to learn on set, and that's my jam. Mm. And instead, if then that is people who don't know me, if I'm constantly told. You look like this, or you're vulnerable, or if I do who, you'll fly away. I'm like I'll stand with you in a storm. You think that that storm will blow you away? I'll be standing still because, like, the you know the thing is like, for me, like, why do I have to fit into your stereotype of what is strength, what is powerful, what is vulnerable? Why can't I be all those things? I want to be a complete human being, I'm, and I want to be a a kind, empathetic person. Who can stand up for what I believe in, and I think that's what empowers me. And I and I want to choose my work like that too, with empathy, with kindness, um, and to work with people who also want me for me, not just for the way that I look, for yeah. what I will bring to the table every second of the time that I work with them, because that's the only way I know how to work. Because I have worked like that since I was a little girl. as w- whether i was dancing or with, with because maybe because of my family or the environment around me i don't like that self consciousness and i i you know for a, there is a period you know when when kind of it kind of gets to you it's natural when we're learning in the industry and and then you realize that no i need to be me and i don't need to listen to the noise i i i can cut out the noise and i only listen to the voices that are musical that actually help me be better that help me learn that help me grow and there are enough musical voices it's about us recognizing them recognizing who we are and keeping those important people close to us because they stay with you on your journey you know mm-hmm. and with and, and and i feel like manisha is very very important to me for that like because really it was his and i say it like as a joke but it it's I I was the same person the same hard worker the same way I, that I looked before that before I worked with Mani sir and after but before I worked with Mani sir it was like a pat on the back and oh you're good and after I worked with Mani sir it was like oh okay she, you know she can do all that she can do so I feel like that ISI mark is sort of <laughs> is sort of that 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 stays with you but it also made me understand what i want to truly do anvita you spent a long time as writer and lyricist before evolving into this formidable director <laughs> who who i think has sort of created her own sub genre of the feminist horror film uh, and and really hats off to you for that you. you know your uh, vision the the things you see in a frame it's so specific and it's so distinctive I'm sure you had your share of hurdles in expressing it. You know, in making sure that that final frame is exactly what you have in your head. What's been the biggest challenge with kind of like even just getting people to believe in you, to fund you, to say that okay, Kala is a film we need to see. Uh, and how did you overcome that? I think um Again what happens is retrospective vision everything looks so simple and so easy actually it is it's only till i made the first film till i made bulbul i um, i kept hearing no when i took bulbul to people whether it was um, studios or actors uh, somehow they could not marry the lyricist uh, of ishqal <laughs> wanting to with this churel wali kahani with this churel wali kahani <laughs> and uh, oh i heard things like oh you don't have uh, set experience uh, maybe you should make a short film and show us mm, and, wow. and i was like if i can think it if i can dream it i can tell it you know and which also so it took the right producer to come along it took uh, netflix came to india i think came to india only so that my film could be made you know <laughs> it felt like that at that point time i was one of the first yeah a uh, lot of films yeah, to get yeah. greenlit um, and it it seems very simple that it just happened but it took me 9 years i wrote it before i shot i wrote it 9 years before wow. i shot it wow 
Wow. So it took me that much time to wow. make it. But uh, after that, so I think the biggest thing is for me is the, my producer. And when your producer has faith in you, yeah. believes in you, and it's really a good producer does that, like even he's never come on set. It's never, you know, I'm saying things like, uh, Lal Moonlight or whatever, you know, whatever my vision is, and requirements are coming according to that vision. And uh, he's never questioned it, ever. You know, that kind of support, he believed that I could make it. So This is Karnesha. This is Karnesha. So, because he believed it, I think it was, it, the only thing was that I had to make sure that I don't let him down. Which meant not that I'm second guessing him, but that every day when I show up, with the same kind of love and vah shabash beta that I do when I'm writing, I was doing that on set. So I didn't need me to question myself or challenge myself. I had to believe in the story and the fact that I could tell it. After that, it's not a challenge because I ride on the shoulders of giants. I've got Siddharth Devan, Neenal Agarwal, Veera Kapoor. I've got the most incredible people who work with me and what is even more amazing is unko meri baatein samajh mein aa jati hain the challenge was to keep on writing because in those 9 years that it took me to make bulbul uh, i wrote nine scripts really yes so do ban gayi hai abhi aur baaki wow so what i did was every year i just motivated myself ki ek likh whatever zero draft whatever mm -hmm. but write it lick it rakh lo because some day it will happen some day you kept the faith even if it doesn't happen my thing was that i can't help it yeah it's like a, it's mm. like a karan you know, it's like an unborn child right mm. so you have to give birth to it on paper mm. so you do it and you move on and you write few songs you write mm. some comedy <laughs> wala dialogues for some part <laughs> pay your rent <laughs> and then you write the next one yeah. like that so oh, you nice. keep it going and i used That's to tell nice. myself what's the worst that will happen chote shehar mein ja ke school mein padhayegi kahaniyan sunane na wahan pe bhi bachcho that's the worst that will happen no facts so right so lovely so nice you know otherwise you'll spiral bhai writer ki la i can imagine it's so it's damn hard yeah it's a lonely year very lonely i also have a great support system of friends fellow writers lyricists and they actually friends i mean they're not colleagues so yeah hamara safety net bahut pyara hai whatsapp group hai na lyricists ka yeah. she had told me about this yeah. and they help each other with words oh, that's wow. so lovely can you imagine nice. oh that's so lovely and these are all the guys who write words how nice that's really yeah. really yeah. lovely yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's that just so moved me i know this yeah. whatsapp but you know <laughs> yeah but i guess we also have such mad schedules yeah So like when WhatsApp people say, "Who's your friend in the industry?" Yeah. I'm like, "You have to nurture friendships." Absolutely. Where are you there in this? I'd same love city? a WhatsApp group for producers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Let's chat. <laughs> <laughs> like it needs there needs to be a like I've always missed it's a change peer of group. ideas. Right? I've fully missed a peer group. You yeah. Know, I, I have a peer group in LA and not here. Yeah. So it's kind of so strange, you know. Actors community, the theatre actors community is like is like this. very supportive. Mm. Yeah. And when someone does well, they really applaud the person. Yeah. That's awesome. I find that less in film sometimes. Hundred, hundred, hundred. 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 Yeah. Hundred. Yeah. Hundred. You barely yeah. get any messages That's when right. your movie releases. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 And maybe, maybe it's because like some of us don't. I mean, we 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 didn't grow up with a lot of people mm. with a lot of people who are from here. I'm not getting into the uh, the nepo conversation. Not at all. No, no. It's because it's, it's only factual, that. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't we like help each other say you did well, girl, or whatever it is? Why don't we do that to each other? Yeah, we but do it I feel like it's for me. Validation comes from my immediate five people, and I'm like, okay, it's done. Mm -hmm. I don't need to get no validation from rest of the people. But I know 100. how important it is. But when uh, like when Vira, I, when I saw Kala, I had I called Vira and I said, listen, what a phenomenal job and i so i make that point at least that when i see somebody's work that i i'm actually jealous of like i told her i'm jealous of the fact that you got to do this you know and and she totally pushed that it wasn't me it was my director so i was like <laughs> you know she gave her all the credit and i love that so i feel that 
yes you need 100. to appreciate but i also yeah, feel like now when you see that message or when like yeah it's all, it's, it's just about post. belonging and Correct. that thing you of feel sharing more welcome that yeah. you feel like you know you're there for is. each other there's more support you yeah. know we have to appreciate each other a lot yeah. more yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the point of having you all here is yeah. to say well done and, and <laughs> You know, thank you. Let's be connected. Yes. And, and no, and genuinely celebrate everything you've achieved. And you know, look, there is a long way to go, right? Mm. There is. We have ways, years and years. And I sometimes, when I look at like the numbers of how slow the change is, I'm just like, really, mm. I'm going to be really old by the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the point is. I am an optimist and I yeah. always see it yes. as the glass more than half Absolutely. full. Yes. I want to ask all of you what are the things you see around you in your respective fields that give you hope? Hope. You know that say to you that yes it's going to be a more equitable playing field at some point. We don't put a date on it. I feel like when you see like when you see a film like Gangubai do the numbers it did it gave me so much hope and joy i was like yes you know things are changing like if you see this month right you had a film you had a sukhi you had thank you for coming you had bhag tak yeah. you know again films that are led by women most of them are written by women one is produced by a woman you know when you see like female directors and i hate kind of making it very gender specific but i feel like it's also kind of important to let the conversation uh be as active and potent as possible right like when a bulbul or a kala gets like this kind of love and you know when guneet wins an oscar you're like okay there's hope and you know what are we seeking i mean i can speak for myself sorry i feel like we are just seeking a, a fair chance you know yeah. we are just seeking equality on so many levels yeah you know where the right kind of stories come your way uh the right kind of praise comes your way just respect for your work and not just your work as an actor but just the respect that's given to you on a set you know you, that's what at least that's what i'm seeking like you know a fair play ground and when films do well or when films are appreciated you're like okay the audiences are changing because by the end of it they are the ones that can make this easier absolutely for us you know yeah. that's my hope yeah i think a fair playing ground and you said it so well bumi uh is all that one needs you know because we all come with our talent our ideas our thoughts our exposure and uh, i think as a producer uh, where uh, we spend the maximum amount of time is actually packaging and figuring out the commercials of the industry that we are so it's so hard uh where you know you want your scripts to be actually read on time and to be reverted like an early no is more appreciated yes, than yeah. Five months of like you know let's a dragging yes like <laughs> or, or, or ghosting oh, you know yeah. I'm just like how does one not respect that somebody's worked mm. so hard you know and maybe we've done like ten drafts before we actually came to you mm. it's actually two years of work before we just you know knocked this door so a fair playing chance is really important yeah but but do you guys see things in your day to day experiences as professionals that kind of you notice and you're like okay that's different i feel as a costume designer being able to sit over here and being uh, recognized as one of the important uh, department in filmmaking by itself is something that i'm noticing right i don't think really, we've had yeah. a lot of this in the past yeah. um, there was always there is the writer the director costume designers makeup artists hair stylists were not considered casting uh, director casting director yeah. <laughs> yeah. so i feel like that is changing yeah. uh, you know we have a voice and our work is being acknowledged recognized uh, praised and we're gi being given the equal appreciation uh, that you know that we, we are doing something in the storytelling we are doing something in the narrative of the bigger picture of the film um, and that is something that i have been noticing a lot lately and it 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 makes me smile it makes me happy you know that it's happening and i am important how long yeah. and so are you my so friend you. So <laughs> yeah. and you know i just want to add that there's a lot more work happening and yeah. my job involves actors and i'm delighted to see that uh, many actors are getting an opportunity to yeah. shine and uh, 
to work on good uh, uh, subjects, good shows, good films, and uh, so that change. I'm very excited about that change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That there's just a lot more work all around. It's enlarged. Yeah, yeah. It's right. Enlarged. The horizons have opened yeah. up Absolutely. in a way. Yeah. You and know? there are some very interesting uh, subjects and very interesting films that are being made, shows that are being made. So yeah. that that keeps me uh, uh, I, quite upbeat here. I also think there's a th something that I have seen personally, and it sounds very like it sounds very little, but it's so important. Which what I have seen more recently is that say, oh God, I don't have dates, but I really like what it is that you're making. And when you hear a simple thing like "We'll wait for you," correct. Mm -hmm. You know what a huge difference it makes. It's like thank you. Like it's it's so it feels so good that people want you for you and what you bring to the table, and that you're not just a replaceable object. Yeah. I also feel like the optimistic <laughs> side that the world is very curious about us. Uh, this is our time. This is our decade. You know, and uh, we are as storytellers going to break open. You know, the glass ceiling and even. I mean, what RRR did this year, or with, uh, uh, or with the win of Elephant Whisperers, mm. uh, all this is just the start. Mm. You know, in in a way, we are breaking new territories, and that happened with platforms coming in. That happened with, like you said, expanding the horizon. So this is our time. That it's happened with films from Pan India being consumed um, uh, all over in different territories. So yeah, this is our time to you know break open that glass ceiling globally absolutely and i'm i'm going to end with two quick questions the first is everybody hears things just dumb questions right like like once uh, zoya had told me that on her first film uh, there was some technician i don't know perhaps a dop who at one point said to her that you're just like my sister and she was like i'm not your sister i'm your boss <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So, I want to ask you all: What are the things <laughs> you should not say to a director, Arvinda? What do you totally not want to hear? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear no. Tell me how it can be done. Yeah. Mm. Find me a plan B. Can I give mm. a short, thoda lamba? Mm. Please. So, a film is chupke chupke. Have you seen it? Yeah. Huh. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So in that scene, uh, Professor Parimal Tripathi, that is Dharmendra, comes and uh, pretending to be the driver, Pyare Mohan. The first day at job, when he comes there, gadi kharaab hoti hai. James, which is Kesh Rumkar ji says, gadi ni chalega, differential mein lafda hai. And Dharmendra, Uf Pyare Mohan says, dikhi to thik hai. Ham gadi dikhi se chalega. तो फिल्में वैसे बनती हैं आप डिक्की से गाड़ी चलाते हो तो पहले मुझे आके ये बताओ कि डिक्की से कैसे चला सकते हो डोंट टेल मी दैट यू कांट बी डन देयर इज ऑलवेज अ सलूशन या दैट्स द ओनली थिंग दैट आई डोंट वांट टू हियर नाइस नंदनी व्हाट डू यू नॉट वांट टू हियर एज अ कास्टिंग डायरेक्टर um i don't want to hear someone ask us to cast their film or to find their leads as a favor <laughs> would be that you know many a times if people think that you're incapable of handling power you know because uh, it is something that you're not used to doing and uh, this is just not specific to me being an actor but in general as well because you know my sister and i we are also trying to like venture into different businesses and yeah. you know we are you're an investor right yes yeah. yes So you know, many a times people just think because I'm a girl, I'm this is going to be above my IQ, above my <laughs> capability of handling it, and that's something that really upsets me. I'm sick and tired of being mansplained. I don't want to be mansplained. You know, I'm in this room because I know what I'm doing. You've asked me for this meeting because you want to be a part of what I'm doing, or you know, you've asked me to come for a narration. So you can't undermine my intellect because you know you think. I don't know better. So that's something that I can't deal with. 
You know, as a uh, as a producer, I think everything that Bhumi said because constantly, always mansplained, always, you know. And I think for a very long time, people try to put me in a box. You know, कि अच्छा तुम तो ऐसे छोटी फिल्में करते हो ना? नहीं, मैं सारी फिल्में करती हूँ. You know, मैंने अभी एक्शन फिल्म की है. You know, मैं तो कमर्शियल एक्शन फिल्म कर रही थी, वो भी टोरंटो चली गई. You know, तो मतलब सो दे बॉक्स यू कि तुम्हें थोड़ा समझ आएगा कमर्शियल सिनेमा तुम्हें थोड़ा समझ आएगा क्यों नहीं आएगा मतलब व्हाट इज इट डिफरेंट यू नो आई हैव ग्रोन अप सीइंग दैट आई 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 एक्चुअली नीड पीपल टू अप्रिशिएट आई स्टार्टेड वेयर आई वेयर आई कुड एंड विद व्हाट आई कुड यू नो सो यू नीड टू सी दैट लेंस दैट व्हाटएवर एक्सेस आई हैड व्हिच एवर सोशल इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड आई कम फ्रॉम आई स्टार्टेड विद व्हाट आई हैव एंड व्हाट आई कुड बट आई वांट टू डू अ 100 करोड़ फिल्म आई वांट टू डू अ 1000 करोड़ बॉक्स ऑफिस and i want to be able to you know have those conversations so those doors and those rooms still judge but as a winner i will say that something that i don't want to hear is aapko kaisa laga you know because main kitni bar alag se jawab dungi kaisa laga when you say this every time i'm just like as a female x y z yeah 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 what does delete that what does it feel like how do you feel and i feel good uske baad like now i start giving one word answers good <laughs> you know, just because I have like I'm sick of just innovating. आपको कैसा लगा? आप बता सकते हो वो कैसा लगा? क्या हो गया बात? अच्छा ही लगा होगा ना आपको कैसा लगा? Seriously, very true. Seriously, very true. Aditi, for you, ah, uh, it's quite a long list. Uh, I might be quite gentle about it, but <laughs> I feel it on the inside. So things like the, the basics are. I hate being like uh, these boxes being thrown at you. Yeah. Bubbly girl, sweet girl, uh, soft girl, uh, uh, sexy girl. Vulnerable <laughs> 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 girl. Yeah. Not for me. I'm saying generally when yeah. they when you when you're being told something about a character, this these are not words you want to hear. Yeah. They mean nothing. Yeah. Bubbly girl can be in a storm. How will she behave? <laughs> That's the more important thing. <laughs> You know, so, and everybody. You know, <laughs> Sanya had told me this. Yeah, I just keep reading these scripts and I say, "Bubbly character." Ah, it's just yeah, what you say. I get strong. Haan, what yeah. strong yeah. strength? Wo ye kar deti hai. Dealing with issues. Uh, issues. <laughs> what literally? I get like one-liners on my WhatsApp because my number is like very uh, well <laughs> available. <laughs> <freely> available. <laughs> everybody has it because of my casting days, and I'm not changed. Yeah. Huh. Same. So I am flooded Same. with like strong scripts and uh, the one-liner story about a strong girl who's going to change the world. I'm like <laughs> one more. <laughs> One more, <laughs> and you get bubbly girl. I know bubbly girls, whatever, all these. Ah, bubbly girl. Bubbly. I never get sexy girl, but I get the rest. <laughs> and only it was girl next door. Then it became I will make you look better than Mani Ma, uh, Mani Ratnam heroine. Then it mm. now it's become period uh, whatever. Correct. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just like excuse me, hello. And so those are annoying. The other thing that I know is important uh, for our journeys, but I also I'm like why are we using these words? Is This is a heroine centric mm. film. Mm. I'm just like what does that mean? You don't when you come to narrate to whoever you don't say it's a hero centric film. You just say I'm going to narrate mm. a film to yeah. you. So it's a Be- it's a story. I can't believe the good news that they're sharing. Yeah. And, 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 and much though I think it's important <laughs> that yes different stories are told but isn't that what it is about expansiveness and the fact that we can tell different stories about different people whether it's gender or whether it's even like puppies or you know whatever i mean there there stories you know yeah. and that's what we want to do we want to basically make, make that story so it sits in your heart and th- i think that's what the most important thing is i find that really harrowing you know it's a heroine centric film to apni expectations na story hai aur acha achhi hogi aapko to makeup ki zarurat nahi hai aise nahi honge i'm telling you that it's a disclaimer yeah i'm telling you paise nahi honge makeup ki zarurat nahi hai i'm just like So you I just wake up and then come to set. Yeah, but we should be very fortunate that this is come our way because that's we are you getting a great story but full stop. Budget <laughs> no. No budget thing no. होगा. The best I have heard is कि हम मैं भी आप ही की जितने पागल हैं. I'm just like what does that mean? मैं भी आप ही की जितने पागल हूँ. मेरे बहुत difficult film है. But अरे मैं उनसे made money. You know. आप छोटा फिर बनाते हो ना हमारा बहुत छोटा मैं भी आप तरफ पाऊंगी 
<laughs> Nika, what do you not want to hear? No budget. Yeah. yeah, I think for me, and it's just like there is no budget FOC event. Like these are the kind of things that just throw us. I'm like, how is it no budget? I, you know what I feel? Like I have made a film with no budget. We were yeah. literally pulling no, but, things out no, of the budget. That wasn't there. no budget. That was you were giving me a budget and telling me, can you manage in this? Yeah. Which I'll say yes. But if you say low Clear communication budget, yeah. like, just give tell me that ham loka ye budget hai. Yeah. You think we'll be able to do something in it? And I'll pull all strings and make it happen yeah. but when you start saying it's a low budget film then you're like but then let, let, let's hear about it let's talk I don't like the conversation being started with that yeah. so and I also feel that you know believing that whoever you are getting on board for the film wants to work for the film and not just for their department like believing that Correct. they want the film to do good you know I don't think everybody believes that everyone they've hired is working towards the same goal a lot of times I've felt that you know that you don't give them you don't tell them okay, what is the scene and what is narrate mm. like give them a scene paper let them have a look at what you're shooting today you're let them feel the emotion exactly. you're not plugged in enough like I feel it's really important for every department to be that plugged in and given that same importance that they have a vision for the film as well on a whole like I feel that's important which sometimes gets missed not always but and yes, when it comes together then it, it's a really wonderful experience yeah, yeah. 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 and there are they days really when we shoot it, like 20 like, hours and nobody even looks at the film yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just In, excited like, really about being visits. there yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just so exciting it's just the joy of it yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. absolutely it's so much fun okay I'm gonna end with one last question I want life mantras from everyone i know this is this is the, everyone's like oh no but what what is the you know you all talked about having faith right yeah. having having belief for nine years for you you know for these long journeys that all of you have had uh, what is the one thing that sort of kept you going and kept you saying to yourself that listen your gold it will happen gunit you're smiling that so much that i have to start with you sab acha hai that's the mantra I see this every day. Yeah. We, we, we have so many um, complicated uh, situations. Things are falling out all the time. Things are coming back. And I'm just like, Sab acha hoga. Mm. You know, and I, and I put that on WhatsApp group. Sab acha hoga, you know? So, grateful. Thank you. Sab acha hoga. Ye jo hua, ye mere bhale ke liye hua. Is picture ke bhale ke liye hua. But yeah, it's a bit tough. Nice. I think just the fact that we're so lucky we are creating every day. Um, and it's like you dream a dream and you can actually see it come to life. And if you work with people who, all, who sort of fuel that and who nurture that, and there's this kind of fearless, childlike life that you get to live, I find that very reaffirming very exciting it makes me feel very positive about every day and um, I feel like what what more is there other than being able to act just create you know and be part of that whole process of creating dreams and being a part of those dreams it's very much like being in wonderland <laughs> with self-awareness not self-consciousness <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> Ika, is there anything you say to yourself? Uh, I actually believe in magic and I feel that I've been very, very lucky and I've been with the right people at the right place at the right time and, you know, things have happened for me and I just believe that how much I've gotten, I believe in giving it further down and, you know, to whoever else I can give it to and I do that with my team a lot and, uh, you know, I'm very uh, happy and lucky that I've ha I'm surrounded by so many people who give in to my work like it's their own. Uh, and I keep telling myself that, that if there are so many people that are ready to give in so much for you to succeed, uh, you know, you, you have to keep going. And yeah, that, you pay it forward. Yeah, you pay it forward. Absolutely. So I, yeah. I do that. Nice. Shabash. <laughs> Shabash. <laughs> Sabr, shukr. Yeah. Say thank you every day. Yeah. Thank you. What did you make today? Thank you. Thank you. उसने हंसा दिया थैंक यू आज उसने बोला यार तुम कमाल हो यार थैंक यू कि वही वाली बुक हाथ में आई जिसका बड़े दिनों से मैं पढ़ एवरी थिंग एवरी डे बिकॉज अदरवाइज इट्स हार्ड सो सब्र और शुक्र
I want that also on a T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I've got it tattooed on myself just in case I forget. Nandini, <laughs> I have to be very honest. I'm a pessimist. <laughs> so everyone tells me to be positive. So I guess that is a mantra to follow. Right. But I'm actually very grateful because um, I'm working in a medium that I love. I just love. I love being a part of film, and I, so that gratitude keeps me going. I guess. Uh, my family and friends may disagree but it it's what keeps me going and i feel deeply grateful that i'm part of this mad crazy insane industry and i'm always nervous that i'm going to start taking the jobs i have a bit too casually and i like that fire to come back with mm, each job yeah. you know but each job should be like the first job that you do yeah, yeah. and yeah can i so that's it yeah so there's no mantra really because yeah i'm a pessimist <laughs> I think for me it's just been take each day at a time you know you're here to serve a purpose you know what you want to achieve in life i actually don't know i'm just trying to sound like a little cool but you know i mean i have a i have an idea of where i want my life to be and i started off from a place where i literally had nothing i didn't know how am i going to get here it was literally rock bottom and life has only gotten better yeah. and i'm like every time i feel like it's over and i feel that very often because i'm also a pessimist <laughs> i kind of go back into that memory and i kind of i'm like okay were you happy then i was happy then i was very hopeful then and i kind of try tapping into that hope and i'm like this mm. too shall pass you know you'll you'll go through it cuz i'm a survivor i'm a hustler i've hustled it for like this long and i will continue hustling it now what the yeah there's no other way to do it i just wake up every day i'm like okay you'll do it i could be crying but i'm like you'll go through it there is and a, the next day i'm laughing there is a punjabi word for it you know so, and which i want to get that to one day which is called chardi kalan i have which, is, which means chardi kalan yes. which means it's onwards and upwards yeah, you know yeah, so chardi kalan yeah. So it's a, and that's what something that's a line that I want to get tattooed. So chardi, you know, chardi kalante. Kalate. So chal chardi kalante. Chardi keep going, keep going yeah, and onwards, upwards <laughs> with more grace, more yeah, you know. Yeah, it's a state of grace. Yeah, more grace, more beautiful, more power, more. Yeah, like you know, in in all your grace, yeah. keep moving forward. You know, upwards and onwards. So on that happy thank note. You. I want to say thank you to all of you. Thank, thank you. you for being you here, having thank us. you for having thank us, you. and for all the work that you do. Thank you. Please go out there and more power to all of you. Thank, thank you so much. You. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.